this is basically um, testing out the MX9X HDL, also known as the Cloud9 matrix switch. It's 9 by unlimited. And you can see the HDMI ports all have loop outs to go down to additional um, additional matrixes so you can expand this indefinitely. All HD base T outputs, um, these audio outputs can be matrixed independently and those are, um, those are uh, actually fixed to the input side by default. You also have RS-232 for command of the switch and also sending commands to the TVs to control power on, power off. IR can also achieve that same function. Um, LAN port here for connection to the um, web interface and serial connection also for control via serial. So if you look at the front screen, you can see it's pretty straightforward. Um, we have a little control screen here. And our control screen gives us things like EDID control. We can actually make switching happen through this um, little menu. Uh, you can set your IR routing, your um, RS-232 routing. Uh, really nice feature, you can set the network up here. So you can set your um, all of your IP settings here, turn DHCP on and off, the port, all of that stuff without having to go into any software. Uh, another feature is the preview screen. So if, if you look at the preview screen, you actually can go to your monitor and see I can switch through and actually see that my sources are active. So this really does um, a great job helping you kind of cut your troubleshooting in half, you know, because you can, you can at least know that your sources are coming in and they're active and they're live. And we'll just do a little bit of switching here. I'm using the web control interface here um, just on my laptop. I think we have number eight and seven here. So if you kind of um, take a peek, you'll be able to see that the switching happens instantly. Um, I don't know what screen, are you looking at that mm -hmm. screen? Mm -hmm. So if you look at that one on the far right there, you can see the switching. And if you're not paying attention, you'll miss it. I can also change all of my displays uh, to multi-view instantly. I can instantly go to a uh, nine screen multi-view so I can see all of my sources on one display at once, which is nice for like a TV on the end where you have a larger TV, a larger projector. Um, what's really nice about that feature is in conjunction with the DigiBird now, uh, we have a little kind of mini video wall set up. We can actually set up a uh, two by two multi-view. So you can see on my video wall uh, what's happening here is I just have kind of one source there. I can switch through all of my sources instantly. Um, see there. And the other thing I have is I have the ability now to go to four different sources. And if I want to, I can actually change those sources however I want. So I'll just do a quick change of a couple. If you keep an eye, you can, you can see that they were, uh, that they were just all changed. So um, happens very quick. Everything is instant, um, easy to control through the web interface if you want to take a peek at that. Basically, we have uh, the ability to sense what's happening with the switch here, do our switching and our multi-view. Um, this is all done via IP. All of these items here, including system config. I also have an RS-232 utility that's going to be a little more robust. You can see your quad view matrixing. You can see your multi-view mode set up, EDID management, IP config, and all of your control route settings. So this is all... Um, all in here including the audio follow the input follow the output independent routing So that's just a quick a quick sneak peek um, Of this new product that uh, should be pretty revolutionary for a lot of integrators in doing large-scale distributions where you need Lots and lots of outputs like bars restaurants that kind of thing oh.